Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it's o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pal Picks Edition. What's B Pal Picks, you say? Well, it's a Patreon. You can go into the uh, description there, hit it, and you get all the f- picks in the land all the time uh, if you take the large tier. And I'll pay you, I'll, I'll let you have it for free. For a month yeah right now if you do it now you'll actually get a month and a week because I'll give you this month and next month okay it's enough of that uh, to our new subscribers any new subscribers actually if you're an old subscriber you can take part in this too we now have some new Perlo swag coming to the land Helen has been knitting and stitching up all the new swag we had some new ideas on my show and i'm going to be by the way i'm going to be giving you quick picks in a second just listen to this part quick picks in a second i'll give you the quick picks and then we'll talk about all of the picks that we did we'll go into last night's picks see how we did see how we did and then we'll go into our picks sort of thing in somewhere in that order but i'll get in my show, which I do, three o'clock till three o'clock till five o'clock Eastern weekdays. Every weekday, I had the people my the people watching brought up some ideas for some new swag. So you can go check that out. By the way, it's a lot of fun. If you subscribe, I, I send out a reminder that it's coming. And uh, what we do in there is we predict all the games scores and then whoever wins gets pearls of wisdom gets the pearl of swag and stuff like that and it's it's quite fun we talk about trades we talk about everything that goes on in hockey our favorite players who's the best you know all that kind of stuff like that okay here's your quick pick because i promise in the title it'll be the first five minutes it's been two and a half minutes so it's within the first five minutes okay devils ml under six panthers ml over six red wings ml under five and a half lightning ml under five and a half avalanche in reg and over five and a half so yeah if Anyways, what I'm trying to tell you is if you just subscribed right now, like right now, just do it now. Yes, just like that, exactly. I will, now you can choose between a Pearls of Wisdom necklace, a, a uh, Ring O Pearls, all right, or a Bracelet O Pearls. Or a Pearl of Wisdom bracelet. What should I call it? Pearl of Wisdom bracelet, I guess. Yeah. So you can have one of those three things. And then after you subscribe, you just comment which one you want. And then we send it off on the Pearl Copter with uh, Hernandez or Melissa. And uh, they bring it to your land. Yeah. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. Let's go to yesterday's picks, shall we? Please tell me I have score up here. Oh, I don't. Okay, so with yesterday's picks, I'll tell you right now as we bring it up. Uh, we did okay. We're not. They're not all done yet. Uh, it's a little early in the evening for all the games. Right now we have the San Jose game going on. And we have the Colorado game going on. And we have the LA game going on. Okay. Blues and Golden Knights. But we have the under here. Here, why don't we check it out on my Patreon real quick? This is my Patreon. This is what I do for my post. Published. I write up. I do little write-ups on everything. So every game, I do every game, I do the totals and overs and unders for every game. 
I, I make money. If you take every one of my NHL picks, I make money just about every day. You'll be up a little bit just about every day. I do have favorite picks. Uh, but I have Blues over Golden Knights ML for small pearls, which is like half a pearl. And over five and a half. There you go. That's what I have for that game. And it's 1-1 one, one right now. So we'll see if that comes in. Not much time. It doesn't look like the over may came out, come in, but the Blues might come in against the Golden Knights. Uh, Jets versus Canucks. I know we have the Jets uh, over the Canucks and under. So we're looking good there. Avalanche versus the Coyotes. That was for medium pearls, and the under, I believe, was for large. So we could really clean up there. Avalanche versus Coyotes. We have the Avalanche and the under. So we don't want more than three goals in the third. And we have Avalanche in regulation for about 170 for large, large pearls on that. The under for small. So we're well doing very, very well. Uh, Sharks. We have the Sharks to win this game. And we have, I do believe we have the over here, which isn't doing too well. So um, I think we have the over for medium, which is about two, two and a half, whichever amount that you like, whatever is your medium, but let's say two, two and a half. And we have the Sharks for one unit. So they're paying double money. So if we lose, we're not going to lose by much. Rangers, we had the over for large. And then we took the Sabres for a unit for fun. I thought it was a good spot for the Sabres there, but they didn't get it. But we had large on the Rangers of this. So we we're up like two and a half uh, units. Well, maybe not. The Rangers would have paid or the over paid 187. So 260 something. You figure it out. Something like that. So we're up about two and a, two and a half units on that play. Uh, hurricanes, we had we had the over, which didn't pay, but we had the Hurricanes in regulation uh, for large, and it did come in, so we were up on that play. Senators, we had the Senators, yo, and we had the under, yo, but we took the Senators on that play. Isn't that cool? Three times our money. Uh, Islanders, we had Islanders ML, but we had the over. They, I think we had over for medium. Yeah, we had the over for medium and Islanders for large. So we're up like a little bit, maybe a quarter of a, a quarter of a pearl, half a pearl. Wild, that one messed us up. We're up about probably five or six pearls, and we went over large and wild PL large. If I would have did in reg, we would have been fine. But so overall, I think as long as the, if the Jets come in and, the, and these ones come in reasonably, we're going to be up a unit. If it wasn't for that one play, if it wasn't for Minnesota not winning by two, we, uh, we would have been up a lot more. But still not too bad. Fun day. Didn't cost us much. Hardly ever does. I'm almost always... If I lose anything, I lose maybe a unit, unit and a half, something like that. Um, did we have, we had an NCAA play come in today. So that's another unit. So we're up. And tennis, oh my gosh, I'm kicking butt at tennis, guys. Kicking butt. Okay, let's look at tomorrow's games now. Okay, New Jersey, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is coming off a of back-to-back played in overtime against the Islanders. Now, it is a back-to-back -back at home. So I'm having a tough one here. But for what you're getting, I can't take Philadelphia at 161 the way they're playing. Are you kidding me with Carter Hart in net? And I know Carter Hart's got better numbers at home. But I'm going to take New Jersey here. I won't put much on it, just small. But for 245 against a struggling Philadelphia Flyers team, uh, 
I may change my mind on that. But for now, I'm putting new, I'm going to put money on New Jersey. Maybe I'll PL New Jersey. Because Blackwood's going to be in net against Carter Hart. Carter Hart has been struggling. That's the thing. On paper, Philadelphia should win this all day. They should. But New Jersey should be relatively rested. Uh, especially if Nico Heischer is back. That would be a big thing. PL, at the very least, I'm probably going to uh, 161, same money to PL it. At the very least, PL it. And as far as the total is concerned, what did I have on the total here? Under six. I got under six. Uh, yeah, because New Jersey's not scoring much. If they do win, it's probably going to be a low-scoring game. Philadelphia is gonna will have trouble scoring on Blackwood. Um, not to mention, Philadelphia looks like they're trying to get back to the basics of defense. So maybe scoring won't be there so much. So yeah, that's what I'm going to take there. Florida versus Chicago. I thought about Chicago here because Lankinen's in, but Florida has actually lit up Lankinen pretty good. Uh, Florida has a ton to play for right now. And Bobrovsky, it appear, appears that Bobrovsky is, could possibly be in net here. Um, I think Florida wins in a high-scoring game, like 5-2. I think it's over 6 Detroit, Nashville, um, I see no reason to give a shot for Detroit here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Grice in here for Detroit. Saros has been playing not too bad. Nashville could win this game, but for the money they're giving you, why Detroit could very well win this game. So you might as, we might as well go with the juice and take Detroit. Am I taking the road team every single game here? I am. Jeez. Look at that. I'm taking it here too. I'm taking the road team every single game. That's dangerous. And Colorado too. I got Tampa ML. Tampa ML for 163. Detroit and the under. Tampa. And I believe the under, and there's no nothing for Colorado now because that game's still going. Uh, but uh, I'm taking Colorado I, I back again in reg and over five and a half. So that would be the road team winning every single game. That seems very unlikely. <laughs> but uh, like I said, that could change. Uh, the picks I gave you yesterday on my Patreon, like, uh, for instance, it didn't happen, but when the injuries started coming in for Montreal, I switched my Montreal pick to Edmonton on Patreon. And if I, the more I think about this, if I look a little deeper tomorrow, uh, I, I, I'm constantly studying leans, reasons. There's videos that come out. I listen to Professor MJ. I listen to, uh, I go check out what uh, Best Bet Ed is saying. I talk back and forth with Best Bet Ed and a few other people out there. Uh, Curtis, Curtis Davis. Curtis Davis is a buddy of mine. He will probably be coming on with me. I use his leans and stuff like that. He's a fantastic capper, doesn't have a YouTube channel right now. So all of this information comes in and then I sometimes change my mind, but you can roll with these ones now. Basically, I'm going with all the road teams here. So one or two of them might not come in, but for the juice you're getting, you're probably going to end up up, up anyways. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Nashville's so injured. Yeah, anyways, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Come back tomorrow when we're going to be talking about all the fine frolic. Go check me out my, my, my program, my show, 3 to 5, Steel Flyers All Sports Network. It's through the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. They have a website you can go to, www.steelflyers.com. No, it's not an all-flyers website. It's an all-sports, all-everything 
all teams, all sports, all this. His name is Steel Flyers. That's why he calls it the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. So um, go check it out. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye. There will be frolicking out.